So this is a knife that I'm working on for a buddy of mine. He wants a file knife, but he wants to keep the file look. So we're going to come up with something interesting for him. But it's kind of loud, huh? And the forge is going in the background. So let's see how many things we can do at once. Except for a little while, we'll come back to it. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is the one we're uh, doing for a buddy. I think it'll be pretty nice as an uh, interesting knife. Might do a little different here, maybe a sharper angle on the front piece here. But uh, I went ahead, put it in there, cooked it, put it in the vermiculite. I hope I'm saying that right. And it should have made it softer so it's easier to sand. I don't want to put it on my sander right now because I just put a new piece on and I don't want to test it and kill my sander. So I'm going to put a sanding disc on and we're going to see how well that works. So give me a minute. All right, guys, let's see if it made it any softer. Or it was going to straight up just kill this.
So, if you guys can see it, we did make a spot on it, but not very much. We may have to go to a like a grinding wheel instead of a sandpaper wheel. So let's try a grinding wheel. some progress with the wheel but like to bring this thing where it needs to be we're gonna have to do a lot of grinding so I'll bring you guys back in a little bit let you see it profile I will clean all the rest and everything up but that is our rough profile all right guys here's what we got going on so now most of my sanding is complete on what I'm gonna do like I said I want to leave it looking like a file as much as I possibly can Just gonna put some scales on the handle, but it feels like I mean it feels good. All right, we're gonna let it rest and let it cool off. Come back to it the next time. So, on kind of a personal note for everybody out there, you know, I started this. Hold on. I started this just, you know, oh my god, it takes a lot to have that on, as an outlet for myself. And I've had criticisms, you know, because I have zero training when it comes to being a blacksmith. I have this feeling you're not seeing me. Had to move the camera, guys. Oh, don't look at my bald head. So, I have gotten criticism for what I do. 
everybody, you know, kind of pokes fun at me about the channel and stuff like that. Because you're 37, you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. But doing stuff like this is my outlet. Makes me feel better. Makes me happy. You know, my wife has her outlet. I have my outlet. And this is something I enjoy to do. So, our little talk here is, you know, don't let other people dictate what you should do and what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. Have fun with it. We only live once, you know, so have fun with it. Enjoy yourself. Do fun stuff. Go outside. If you are one of those people who are gamers, play video games, dude. Play video games. I'm not saying, you know, don't go to work, just play video games and do nothing else. But, you know, be the best at whatever you want to be. Don't let other people dictate what you think you should be doing. So if you have a skill, and it may be a skill that's, you know, your own skill. Mine is, I'm trying to get into knife making. I'm going to make other weapons and start, you know, doing all kinds of little stuff. Just playing around. So, I'm hoping my buddy, I'm not going to go on about that no longer. I'm hoping my buddy likes the knife. I like the way it looks. I almost don't want to give it to him. Because <laughs> I think it's getting to be one of, you know, it's one of my better works. And I'm just trying to do a rough on this. But it looks really straight. It looks nice. I'm very happy about it. So, Bushcraft Rebel, signing off. I don't know if you can see my breath, but I'm going to go warm up. <laughs> see you guys.
those are not. Sorry guys, I didn't have time to do the gluing because everything went dead on me. But both knives are in ready to go. We're going to leave them out here, let them sit for a little while, and keep our fingers crossed. I'll bring you guys back when we come back out. It is still locked up in here. And we'll come back till morning because it's still just a tad bit sticky. And I don't want to mess this handle up. So, still working on getting the shop squared away after getting rid of one of our tables. And I'm going to build a uh, homemade saw. I think it'll be kind of interesting. All right, guys. I'll alert y'all later. Bye. All right, guys. We got it out from being glued. I'm not 100% sure if I like the handle. It does look all right. does look all right got a little bit of I messed up on that bottom corner so I'm just not for sure if I like it or not I might pull it off but this was the marine knife we're working on still need some sanding and whatnot and then uh, this was my other little side project just a little knife came out a little nicer it is could they I mean they're both very comfortable in your hand but even this one needs a good polishing and another light sanding and it'll be good. So, not too bad. Um, this thing's just a beast. The marine knife. It's just a be an absolute beast. You got a good spot for your thumb. I did put a little finger hole groove into it. Just to really hold that index finger. And... Uh, y'all tell me what you think I do hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, we will have more to come it's neat how that little bit of color stayed in it all right bushcraft rebel signing off look at lady